welcome to another uh, Perfect Balance vlog, starting off a little bit uh, different today. Up in the the original podcast room in this house with, uh, with Noel here. Uh, we've got Scotland today, we've got Scotland in our uh, World Cup qualifier semi-final playoff, uh, is the technical name for this game I think. Basically, as most of you will know obviously, Scotland play Ukraine at Hamden today. If we win, we go on to play Wales at Cardiff on Sunday or Ukraine going to play Wales on Sunday, and the winner of that qualifies for Qatar 2022. So uh, the time now is, what time is it now? It's 22 minutes past 12. Mark and Robbie and all that, and uh, Milo uh, and uh, Mark's dad are already on, already on their way to Glasgow. Uh, Harry is picking me up at about 2 o'clock uh, to go through with his dad and um, our friend Stephen as well to join the boys in Glasgow, so we'll get there a wee bit later. But we're all going to meet up at Hamden, we're all sitting together, um, and we've got a bit of news. Um, obviously, this won't be news when you guys are seeing this because everything's already done. But as we're getting it, we've been given a leaked team or a potentially leaked team this morning. And a lot of us aren't really sure about it, whether or not it's a good idea, because it goes away from what Scotland have been so successful with over the past few years, which is the sort of solid 5-3-2 uh, formation. So if this is right, Scotland are going to be going tonight with a 4-3-3. Gordon in goal, uh, Robertson the captain at left back. Cooper and Hanley as the two centre-halves. Obviously, no Tierney, so no less side centre-half from him. But um, questionably, no John Souter, if this team is right, considering how important he's been for Hearts this year, how um, important he was for Scotland and scoring a vital goal recently for the national team. He had a great performance at Hamden a few weeks ago in the Scottish Cup final, largely kept Hearts in that game. Uh, but another ex-Hearts man is apparently playing it right back. A lot of us expected, obviously, Partison would be the number one choice for going forward in, in the future. Of course, he's injured because he got that bad injury when he was playing for Everton's B team because somehow he couldn't get a game for them. So I thought we might get Stephen O'Donnell because he's Clark's go-to guy. He's his boy from the old Kilmarnock days. But then a lot of people were saying, well, no, not O'Donnell because Ralston's had a good season at Celtic, so maybe he gets to start. But Hickey, who's predominantly a left-back, but he can play it right-back because he's, he's good with either feet. If he does play there, it's maybe a gamble, but the kids had a very good season in Serie A. Bologna finished comfortably mid-table. Um, so, you know, throw him in at the deep end. But he does have a link to us because uh, our old manager at, um, at Cravia Cubs, Mr Paul Stephen, uh, used to play fives of them. So he's basically one of us. So it's like a Cub playing it right back for Scotland tonight. Uh, he's gone with his normal midfield, again, according to this league team. McGinn, McGregor, Gilmore. I think whatever 11 he does play tonight, those will be the three midfielders because, again, they just control the game so well for Scotland. And if this team's to be believed, he's got Adams on the right wing, Christie on the left wing, and Dykes up front. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, Christie is much better on the left than he is on the right. I don't know how much experience Adams has got wide right, not being an avid Southampton watcher. If I was going to look at that 11, I'd interpret that as Christie in behind a front two of Adams and Dykes, but it's all speculation, isn't it? We'll just need to wait and see what happens at Hamden. So I don't know where this video is going to pick up from, but it'll be interesting to see, won't it? So I said before we left Dundee that it would be interesting to see where this video took us. And Harry's decided to take us on a tour of Glasgow. Haven't you, Harry? Me and Sandy have been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All through the south side of Glasgow. And now we're in Queen's Park. It's because there's a dual carriageway. Not a dual carriageway here. Does it mean we're lost? No, no. We'll be fine. Oh, shit, no exit. Oh, no exit, no! <laughs> Let's 
One. Oh. Go in that bowl. Go in that bowl.